So Donald Trump has officially ran away from debating Kamala Harris, and he's put his list of excuses on Twitter now for all of us to see. Now, the reality is Donald Trump is sprinting. He's a sprinter. He's a runner. He's a track star. He's afraid of debating Kamala Harris. He just is. There's no getting around this. It's not a debate. It's not a discussion. For those of you who are still in disbelief about this, for all you Trumpites who are still viciously riding his meat, I'm going to explain to you exactly why Donald Trump is just a total coward at this point. So here's what Donald had to say. Donald says, I have agreed with Fox News to debate Kamala Harris on Wednesday, September 4th. Notice how Kamala is nowhere in this agreement. The debate was previously scheduled against Sleepy Joe Biden on ABC, but has been terminated in that Biden will no longer be a participant. No one agreed to the termination of this at all. And I am in litigation against ABC Network and George Slopadopoulos, that's George Stephanopoulos, thereby creating a conflict of interest. The Fox News debate will be held in the Great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania at a site in an area to be determined. The moderators of the debate will be Brett Beyer and Martha McCollum, and the rules will be similar to the rules of my debate with Sleepy Joe, who has been treated horribly by his party, but with a full arena audience. There goes Trump faking, feigning sympathy and empathy for Joe at the end to try to lend more credence to the idea that the Democrat Party did something so horrible to Joe Biden, when in reality, Joe Biden made a noble and respectable and honorable decision to prioritize the nation over his own ambition. But let's actually get into Donald Trump's absolute, just a list of just, (laughs) this is lying. Okay, so first and foremost, he says that the debate was previously scheduled against Sleepy Joe on ABC, but has been terminated in that Biden will no longer be a participant. What does that matter? Joe Biden and Kamala are a part of the same administration. What does that matter? I, I'm genuinely curious. Joe Biden and Kamala were a part of the exact same administration. Same arguments, same platform. What are you afraid of? What difference does it make? No one can explain. There's no actual difference here. Well, it's not Joe. And? And? Like, what are you, like, as if you're getting a different platform and a different argument. You're getting the same thing, just a different person. What do you have to say for yourselves? It's not Joe. This is exactly why Trump is running away from the debate, because it's no longer Joe Biden. His opponent is no longer Joe. This is why he's running. He then goes on to say, I'm in litigation against ABC Network and George Slopadopoulos, thereby creating a conflict of interest. Here's the problem. Donald Trump does this all the time. Whenever he's caught in a bad spot with a certain person or a certain entity or a certain business, he engages in beef with them to then turn around and say, hey, there's a conflict of interest here. This person doesn't like me. Get me a new judge. Get me a new debate platform. Get me a new something because I have conflict of interest with this entity or this person or this company. Here's the problem. Donald Trump agreed to debate Joe Biden on CNN. If there was ever an entity that had a a rocky, is a light way of putting it, a rocky relationship with Donald Trump, it's CNN. Donald Trump spent almost 10 years calling CNN fake news, and you agreed to debate Joe Biden on CNN. Then you agreed to debate Joe Biden on ABC. Here's the problem, Trump is you sued ABC in March of this year. You agreed to do a debate with them in September of this year. And I have the evidence. Trump sues ABC News and George (laughs) Slopadopoulos for defamation over Nancy Mace interview. So here we have George Stephanopoulos. He was sued by Donald Trump. And Donald Trump did this. Here we have the report in March. So in March... You sued these people, and now all of a sudden you have a conflict of interest? Let's just tell the truth. The reason why you're fleeing from this debate, sprinting from this debate, is because your opponent is no longer Joe Biden. So now you've laced up your you've you've laced up your shoes, and now you're just running full speed away from Kamala Harris. You're sprinting away from Kamala Harris. It's crazy. It's crazy. You've managed to do it. Somehow you've managed to accomplish that. And your excuses for anyone who could do just a few Google searches would realize they're they're bull excuses. They're ridiculous. And furthermore, you want to set foot back in Pennsylvania, the place where you almost got shot, killed? Trump, 
You're willing to set foot back in Pennsylvania, the place in which you were shot and almost killed, but you don't want to go to ABC for the debate because you have a conflict of interest. And these excuses work on half of the country. He goes on to say, at a site in an area to be determined, the moderators of the debate will be Brett Beyer and Martha McCollum, and the rules will be similar to the rules of my debate with Sleepy Joe. So basically, he has de he's decided no rules. They will be similar to the rules of my debate with Sleepy Joe. So now you're dictating the rules, and you've made them vague. They will be similar. Okay, what are the rules? Put them in writing, bold and clear, so we know. He sits there and says, the moderators will be Brett Beyer and Martha McCollum. Who in the f*** are you to determine who the debate moderators are going to be? You are the participant. You don't get to decide who the moderators are going to be. But see, he does this because he knows that if he decides the place, the venue, and the moderators, and the network, he knows inherently Kamala is not going to show up. How do you, one man, get to dictate every single aspect and stipulation of the debate and I'm supposed, I'm supposed to just show up? You stipulate every single aspect of this debate and I just show up in good faith? Come the f*** on. Come on. Let's be honest. This man wants to dictate every single term of the debate. Because he knows if he does this, Kamala's not going to show up. Because who shows up to debate stipulations like this? Who shows up to a debate in which your opponent basically has every single aspect of the debate in his... He's, he's a puppeteer. The moderators under his, under his thumb, under his boot. The moderators under his thumb. The platform under his thumb. The audience probably under his thumb. Donald Trump needs as many fucking puppets under his puppeteering so he can feel comfortable debating Kamala Harris. But if you look at all of his excuses for why he doesn't want to show up, they're all bullshit. You get to choose the moderators. You get to choose the venue. You get to choose the state in which it takes place. You get to say that you're not going to show up to ABC because you have litigation against them, even though you were at one point okay with showing up because Joe Biden was your opponent. Here's the truth. Donald Trump is afraid. He is afraid of Kamala Harris as a debate opponent because he knows that she's sharper than him, smarter than him, and a much more concise speaker than him. He knows this to be true. He's very aware. He's very aware of this. He knows this to be true. But he is afraid, deathly afraid, which is why he came up with all of these impossible terms that no one would ever agree with. In a language that you can understand, Donald Trump has officially pulled out of debating Kamala for the rest of the entire cycle of the campaign. He's afraid. He does not want to debate her. So he creates impossible stipulations that he knows she will never agree to. The problem is it's too late. Donald Trump, we have this thing called Google. I know that you were in litigation against ABC months before you agreed to the debate. I know, along with 21 million other Americans who watched the debate, I know, that was the, those were the views on YouTube, I know that you debated Joe Biden on CNN. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. You've had beef with CNN for almost a decade. Now you want to talk about conflict of interest? You can't be serious right now. You agreed to the debate on ABC when Joe Biden was your opponent. Now that he's no longer your opponent, somehow the debate is no longer agreed to? Well, if his replacement is willing to fill in and debate you under the same terms and the same venue and everything, that's fair. The only difference here is that your opponent is someone new. That's it. That's the only difference is you have a new opponent and as a result, you don't feel as confident as you did the first time because Joe Biden is old, his stutter is back, He's not a clear and concise speaker. The bass in his voice is completely gone. He can barely control his facial expressions during a debate. The reality is that you had every single optical advantage debating Joe Biden, and all of that is now gone. You are aware of this. J.D. Vance even was afraid to debate Kamala because he knew she had the receipts on abortion for his ass. So you and your VP are both made as and you're afraid to debate a woman. You can call it whatever you like, but you are afraid. The both of y'all are afraid. And the funny thing is, you choose a state in which you were almost killed, but you want me to believe you're afraid of showing up to a debate on a platform in which you have litigation against? 
Donald Trump. MAGA may be born last night, but we're not. Stop playing with us. Stop. Stop playing with adults. Stop playing with grown folks. Stop playing with this country. Donald Trump, stop playing. You are sprinting. You are full speed running away from debating Kamala. And that is exactly why you have chosen debate terms that no one in their right mind, not even you, would agree with. Talking about some, I am in litigation against the ABC Network and George Slopadopoulos, therefore creating a conflict of interest. That's not what you said when you had to debate Joe on CNN. You were confident then. You didn't have a problem. You were confident going against him on ABC as well. See, the reality is you were never afraid of a conflict of interest with these companies, with these with these platforms. You weren't afraid. You weren't afraid of conflict of interest when you had to go on CNN, when you had to go on ABC. But the, now that your opponent, your easy opponent is gone, now all of a sudden conflict of interest is now a factor in which you are now determining whether you're going to debate. That's now a factor in your decision making. No one believes this but your sycophants and MAGA, but your, your worshipers, your cult members. That's it. Those are the only people who believe you. The rest of us can use this thing called Google to research whether or not you're telling the truth. And we all know you're not. You are a liar. A liar. Since when has a, a candidate ever determined who the moderators were going to be? Donald Trump knows exactly what he's doing. He knows. And now he's laced up his shoes and is engaged in the fastest, longest sprint. Forget the Olympics. This is the true act of athletic ability I've never seen before. This man has fully sprinted away from the debate. He's effectively ended any conversation about a debate. But the good thing about this is Kamala Harris will show up on September, I believe, 10th. She will debate the air, the molecules, oxygen. She will debate whatever is whatever, whatever is across from She'll be debating that since you don't want to show up. But why would Kamala Harris show up to that debate with all these parameters and shit you got going on? She, a, a hole might open up beneath her and she might fall through. You got the moderators. You got the, the location. You got the venue. You got a crowd. You got all of this going on. I don't know what else might happen. The platform underneath her might just open up and she might fall through. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just, if I'm Kamala, I'm not showing up. Talking about some, I am in litigation with ABC Network and George Slopadopoulos. Stop playing with grown people. Stop. Stop playing games. Trump just be lying. Just, just saying shit. Just saying anything because he can. Just because it's free. But that boy running, boy. That boy is running. He's afraid. He is deathly afraid. It's just the truth. And Trump supporters can sit there and say stuff like Chicken Mala Harris, which is like, that's the best y'all can do, Chicken Mala. Y'all have lost your humor, you've lost your, your swag, you've lost your momentum. Y'all have lost everything since Joe Biden dropped out. It's actually sad. This is like world hunger levels of sad. Like this is just like, this is, this is just pathetic. Should we give MAGA their last rights at this point? Because this is just, <laughs> these are the death throes of a movement steeped in insanity, racism, misogyny. Just like, this is just sad. Lies. Trump is a demonic shepherd. This man could lead his entire flock to a cliff and they'll all just walk straight off. And he won't go down there with them, just like he didn't go down there with them at J6. And today he's managed to convince hundreds of thousands, millions of Americans that Chicken Mala is the coward and not him. They won't double check when he filed for litigation. They won't double check what other platform he debated on, they won't double check anything. They won't do anything but just, yeah, Trump. This man needs to be saved from his own fan base. He needs to be saved from his own, I don't say voting base, I say fan base. Because at this point, y'all are beyond, y'all are not the normal voter. You don't hold your politicians accountable, you just guzzle their So with that, with that established, obviously, you all need to be saved from him. He needs to be saved from y'all. It is important to show up to the polls and to defeat Donald Trump. Destroy this man and his career, okay? So look, if you like this video, if you like the content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to show your support if you like the content. And have a blessed day.